I usually pray against witchcraft and some other things. Perhaps at random, at least one hour a day, sometimes less. Before there was a time I would pray about three hours a day for a while. And every so often, I receive very bad dreams, very bad. I think it was today. I dreamed about, I believe it was a demon doing some type of spinning kick to the back of my neck. And I believe, I guess from how my thinking was, either when I woke up or I guess during the end part of it, like, it seemed like that demon was doing that certain type of kick for hours to my neck over and over and over again. And I believe that kind of made me think about hell. Like, probably if you were in hell maybe you would have to go through the same type of torment over and over and over and over again. Like, a person probably would think, hey, that demon should get bored or tired of doing that to Uncle Kev. But no. I believe that demon or whatever it was, I don't know, but it was as if that demon was okay with doing that to me. When I woke up, maybe the first or second time, maybe after that, I believe I woke up and I started to pray a bit because I did not want to go back to sleep and enter into that dream again because I believe that dream was really disturbing. Which I believe most dreams aren't really dreams. I believe it is something that we are actually going through. Okay, what is your point, Uncle Kev? Okay. You may have prayed a lot or often. You may have worshipped God for a while. You may have done something of God for a time period. And then, excuse me, and then went to sleep and probably had a very horrible dream or dreams. Now, with some people, that may have discouraged them from doing more things of God or praying in that same type of way or worshiping God in that same type of way. Listen now. If you are doing things of God, whether it is praying, helping people, or whatever. And if you get attacked in your dreams or whatever, I believe, and I can be wrong about this, I believe it is a sign you are effective. Okay. Let's say I am praying for someone over and over and over again. And let's say I receive 
a dream about a gang of demons attacking me, like pulling on me, stabbing me, and kicking me, and stuff like that. Okay. Have they ever done that to me before in my past life when I was sinning and doing this and doing that? If that is a no, and if that dream came to me after praying for someone often or so much, I believe that is a sign you are being effective. So if you are being effective, why stop? Why stop? If you are singing songs to God for hours, dancing and stuff like that, and you go to sleep and get attacked, why stop? Why stop? Yes, I don't want to have bad dreams, and you may not want to have bad dreams as well, but if it is effective, against the enemy, why stop? Why stop? If your prayers are helping someone, if you are seeing slight changes in that person, why stop praying? Well, Kevin, I am tired of being attacked. Okay, but it is effective, right? Continue to do it no matter what. Yes, that dream I had was disturbing. Yes, but I am not going to stop praying. I am going to continue to pray against witchcraft. I am going to continue to pray for this person, that person, whatever. I am going to continue praying for people. Yes, Certain things may happen to me because I pray for people, but so what? Don't become discouraged from doing the right thing because of resistance. Man, that may be my title. <laughs> Let me stop here. God bless you.